Hey guys, and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop, where everything's made up and the instructions don't matter. That's right, just like a speed limit on a back road. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, hey, have you guys ever run across, for instance, where you needed to check the continuity of a wire that's like way too long, it's in a different terminal box, you know, the distance you need to stretch is longer than the leads on your meter to check either end of that wire, or we have a bundle of wires and you need to single out which one is which at either end because your labels fell off or whatever. I got a little hack that I use almost every day and I really think you guys can benefit from this if you don't already know it. Let's take a look. Now, Yin's guys are going to have to use power of imagination here. This thing is set up strictly for example. So, in an electrical circuit, let's just say this is a control box full of push buttons, and this is a terminal block somewhere on the other side of the machine, let's just say 40 feet away from me. I can't see one from the other. I have a bundle of wires, in this case two, just for example, but let's say that there's 40 wires in here. Whenever it comes to electrical and specifically control, we have something called bonding. So all of our enclosures are bonded together. So they share a ground. That way in the event of a short, like if one of these wires were to touch something metallic, it shorts out, blows the breaker, what have you. That way it kills the power before somebody accidentally touches it and they become the ground. It's a safety thing, but we can utilize that principle just in the form of diagnostics. Let's take a look. So right off the get-go, after we expose what we're looking for, go ahead and grab your trusty meter. You know, the end-all be-all. Slap that old girl in ohm, because what we're looking for is continuity. Continuous flow from one side to the other. So in our first, for instance, let's just say this wire, wire A, okay? Wire A, I suspect being broke or having a short somewhere between the beginning and the end, and I need to confirm that. But remember, these things are like 40 feet away, so I can't just take my meter leads and touch either end of the wire to confirm that there's good continuity. So we utilize the grounding, the bonding between these enclosures. Disconnect one side of your wire and attach it to the enclosure. So now you have effectively bonded your conductor to the enclosure that's already bonded to the rest of the system. I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. Now, whenever I go to the other side, I can take my meter on continuity, ground one side of my meter, and then check the wires in that enclosure against that bonding. Now I can prove that I have continuity in that wire even though I'm only at one side of it. How cool is that? We're utilizing the system for our benefit. Not only is that a good test for that, but what I just did right there, you can tell which wire is which depending upon which one you bond. See this wire here? I have zero continuity between the end of this wire and the enclosure. That's telling me that the wire I have hooked up at location A is not the same wire. Let's go ahead and change that. Look at that. This helps me differentiate what wire is where. I cannot tell you how valuable this practice is. It's simple. But man, this can really save you a lot of time in Diag. If I've said it once, guys, I've said it a thousand times. A good DMM is absolutely priceless in this industry. Heck, anything diagnostic-wise. I don't care if you're replacing receptacles in a house, you're working on an RV, you're in an industrial plant, you're anything. You need to know power and the flow. And whenever you understand little tips and tricks like this, those big jobs get cut down into little sections that are so much easier to tackle. 
So if you guys enjoy this and stuff like this, drop a comment and let me know. Until next time.